okay, walked up and there's a, a, a guy unloading his truck and in the truck is a ton of games. This is a PlayStation 2. Yes, okay. We got a player's handbook for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, what is this? Let's see. No expansion on an N64 with Tony Hawk. Is this a game or the cleaner thing? It's cleaner. the cleaner. All this. Good morning. All right, uh, Final Fantasy, Attitude, Xbox Live, cool. and then also an Xbox in the box right there. Ooh, it's That's shiny. It is. All right, let's see. Next booth, next booth, next booth. Next booth. This Sonic X comics. Those are great. And Ricky, the Super Retro Trio right here. Ooh. I, you know, I had a dream last night. I had a new game room already, and I was very excited. Oh, it's actually brand new. Pressing pause really quick on today's video to talk about today's sponsor, Manscaped, but with a very, very important message. Did you know one man every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer? Testicular cancer is the most common form of cancer amongst men ages 15 to 35. April is National Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, which is why I wanted to take a quick second to talk about men's health issues that are important to me. I'm pretty sure that if you talk to anybody anywhere in the world, they can relate to knowing somebody that had cancer in their lives, whether it's a friend or a family member. For me personally, both my mom and and my dad, and even a friend of the show, a long time ago, we raised $30,000 for my friend Chloe, who had leukemia. With men's health and hygiene in mind, Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to help you take care down there. And with that, I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite products from Manscaped, the Lawnmower 4.0. This beauty has ceramic blades designed to help reduce nicks and cuts, and the blades can easily be replaced so you can groom your body with confidence. The Lawnmower 4.0 has a powerful 7,000 RPM motor and 400K LED spotlight that can turn on and off when needed for a more precise shave. I really do appreciate Manscaped partnering with the Testicular Cancer Society as it really is important to my family. Visit manscaped.com slash TCS to learn how to check yourself for early signs of cancer. As always, you can use my promo code PGS for 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Join the Manscaped movement and don't forget to take care of your pair. So yeah, let's uh, let's poke at this and poke at that Sonic X and see. Oh my goodness. A again, my biggest fear is they might be, oh, I was gonna say a little too feminine. Those are not, those have like the infrared look. What size are they? Oh no, those are my size. Oh no. We gotta look. I mean, these are actually cool. I mean, Ricky, we gotta show them real quick my pants. They're here. I mean, I am, I am made to wear pumps right now. So I got it, we'll see, we'll see. All right, y'all, gonna get the Super Retro Trio and these pumps right here. Good morning, I was just recording and it didn't work, but now I am, and Jay the Generous just showed up with the most amazing skateboard gift of all time, uh, Kikoman Primitive Skateboard. Look at that design, and it was gonna take Ricky a drink, but now Jay, Ricky, and there he is. But dude, this is freaking sick. Ford bump. Yeah. Excuse me, Curtis? Rolling up with the camel crew? Like, can they we hang out? Back? Can I hang out? I was like, sure, man. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. Look at this, guys. You got a bus book of like the Orange County transportation, Ricky, but look, it's in Pac Man theme. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. Ooh, micro Hot Wheels Nightmare Alley. Good Lord. Mixing Ricky's Hot Wheel love with my love of horror and dark things. Jeez. Ricky, I also sold down there. What was that? Domino Rally. Ooh. I used to mess with Domino Rally back in the day. And look how pretty That's, it is. It's very pretty. I'm so pretty. All right, so check it out over here. Now these are, so I take risks on things, but these are a little too beat for me. So you have this Mattel and television right here, but if you look, I just, I'm a little too worried about it. And then same with this Atari, which to be honest, guys, these probably would have lasted and probably do still work, but I just don't want to risk having to put this much work into something like this. All right, so right before we got here, Curtis picked up something super, super, super unique. It's got a bunch of these PlayStation like so it's like aisle or, or like holders where they would put video games for displays, for promos, for customers to pick them. And some of them wouldn't even be like out yet. They'd be like, uh, kind of like, wow, emotional almost basically. Wow. So yeah, these aren't like people cut out like PlayStation magazines or no. part. This is what was made to go like, for doink, here's what the game looks like. And you got 200 of them. Two and they're mint. Yes. Oh, that's a street skater. That's awesome. There's also oh, like spawn. Some crazy ones in here. Yeah, like, dude. You see like the Marvel ones. Oh, not. Space Jam. Oh, Mikey would kill you for that one. Oh, Space Hulk. Dude, these are beautiful. And you got a ton. Oh, yeah. Wow, dude. I don't even want to okay, pull these out. One, like, yeah. 200 of these. Wow, dude. That is a that's very, right. very... Right oh, yeah. What an impressive find, man. 
Also wanted to show that I bought this earlier for just one buck, but it is case and manual only, but it's mint condition and, and real. So it was too dark to film earlier, but on that last booth, I got this, this, double the dragon, E.T. and Howard, Howard the, the Duck Dude. to Jessica from- Okay, do you like that movie or do you hate that movie? I actually really liked it when I was a kid. I really? Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised you were allowed to watch it when you were a kid. I didn't realize how bad it was until- <laughs> I watched it recently as an adult and it was like, wow. Duck nipples. Like I was like very, Weirded out. Okay, I guess it's I guess it's digging time because oh boy. Yep, it's gonna be digging time and uh, I don't know if I want to take you guys in the adventure with me or if I want to just dive in on my own so I can get all this. Ooh, I thought that was sealed. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna start digging uh, alone, Han Solo without you guys, and I'll come back. Alright. So one of my favorite things to watch as a kid, Ricky, did you ever like turn on random oh, daytime TV? Yeah and watch like America's yes. Dumbest Criminals. Yes. Uh, look at you have the right to remain stupid. These are awesome. It was like always like random criminals that would like do like the dumbest crap, like go yes. rob yes. a bank with like their, with, with shackles on and with a, a pen, which you know why I say that? Wow, that's so weird. <laughs> I, did you know my uncle was in an insane asylum because yeah. he robbed a bank with a pen? <laughs> Good old <laughs> Uncle Jerry. <laughs> Ricky's buying the Ricky's buying the, the thick boy Pikachu right there. The yeah, he's a cool one. And then I got, by the way, those are the ones I ended up picking up. I like this Rocky. This cover is a little bit, it's like the different artwork that I'm used to seeing. So I was like, oh, I got to try that one. So super cool. And League of Their Own. I just watched this not that long ago. It's actually good. It's super it's good really movie. Good. Tom Hanks was a wild man in it. Last Hunter Hero Blade and uh, Rookie of the Year. And this is Ricky of the Year. <laughs> and into the pile. By the way, that <laughs> League of Their Own is sealed with watermarks. Super cool little bundle. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, you bought that. Oh my God. Is this like your test to see like how much work it would take you to get that to work? I guess, sure. My God, Ricky, look at this. Five bucks. Oh, first party. boy, I got two. Oh, that one looks better. But yeah, yes. this one's way better. Yeah, my Lord. <laughs> All right, boys, I picked me up a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle DVD. I don't think it's anything special, but I just thought it was cool because it has a promo sticker on it. Oh, so you never know. Well, I'm gonna make it, watch. Ricky's kids, catch. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, see Ricky with the dad move? I love it, bro. He went to defend their life. Good job, Ricky, but catch. Yeah. Now, Ricky, you gotta make it in there. Is it sealed? Yeah, who cares, bro? I don't care if it hits the ground. Oh, I'm not impressed, Ricky, I'm just gonna be honest. What? What? Is this just a patch? Oh, it is. Is it just a patch? I can't tell. I cannot tell if this is just a patch or not. I mean, obviously, yeah, it kind of is, but it looks, the, the tag looks old. Either way, this is cool. You got some Toon Squad. This LeBron era, meh. I'm just saying. All right, so I did pick up this hat, but the most impressive thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna make it in that basket over my head without looking. Ready, boys? Watch this. Okay, now I can't look. I'm gonna go right here. Did it go in? Yeah. Did it go? Oh, oh man, I'm sorry. Oh, my hat. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, look at this big Charizard right here. Ricky, ask him how much. Good eye, good, good, good eye. Good eye, good eye. A cuanto? How much? <laughs> okay, there's some Naruto stuff over here too that I'm gonna look at. Oh, a rating. How much, Ricky? 40. 40 and then Naruto. Naruto and then some Pokemon. How much are the shirts? Those ones. 15. Then we got some Narutis right here. Ooh, lots of stuff kind of lying around. And then Ricky just found a little, what is it? Some Super, super Ghouls and Ghosts. Got a little bit of a label lift right here. How about this game right here? The Defender 2 on Atari. And you know how much you want on this one, or? Five bucks. All right, five bucks in the Atari game. We got 10 for Ghouls and Ghosts. And you got some Mando figures down here. All right, so making our way around the swap meet. And gotta say, this Defender 2, to come to find out, is like a $25, $30 game. Wow. I had no idea. So there's that. And then Ricky with a good score. With the Ghouls and Ghosts, bro. Just lying around the swap meet, bro. You know how much Ricky paid for that? They paid Ricky $12. They paid Ricky $12, bro, to take it, yeah. That's how it works, yeah. Look at freaking Curtis. Just, you think he's packing a little bit of heat with this nice, beautiful Top Gun. And then, wait, oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, wow. 
super cool. Old punching bag, right? Yeah. Dude, fi Firestone. That is actually sick. That is super cool. Ricky, look at this pair of Nikes right here, bro. <laughs> look at this shoe. There you go. You can hear it, watch, when it, when it shoots out. Watch. Let me hear. Ooh, baby, and there's a whole bunch of them. CPS 1200. Giant pressure system, super soakers right here. Yeah, these are actually sick. Ooh, oh, and then they got some old Revels. I'll oh, see, I like the look of these. I, you know how good I'd look in these in a pair of short shorts? I think you've been pretty good in those, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Thanks, Ricky. You know, I gotta, you gotta get some of those for my birthday. I saw Ricky grab this from a mile away. And I'm like, is that a Game Gear charger? Yep, it was. A Game Gear battery pack. I mean, will it work? That's very debatable at this point. Oh, easy there. Wow, Bill Hickok. Wow, I can't believe you guys used to do this because right now I hit the trigger twice. <laughs> <laughs> you shot your foot and killed Dusty in the process right there. I watched a documentary on Billy the Kid last night. Oh, you did? To find out like if he actually escaped by himself or if yeah. he had help. Did so he? that was, it's kind of a somewhere in the middle is where it landed. It's leaning more towards like he had to have had help is what it's looking like. Big iron. Big, do you know who sings Big Iron? No. With the big iron on his hip. Big iron on Marty Robbins, bro. If you know Marty Robbins in the comments down below, you're officially super cool. I'm gonna be honest. I just see video games, Famicom, Super Famicom, Asian culture games just flying down. Ooh, this Metroid Prime is pretty. Yeah, it's cool, huh? Yeah, it's a pretty box. You don't have any idea what you kind of wanted for the lot? Do you even know yet, or just kind of? Okay. Nothing in your brain yet with what you well, think? Or... Check it out, dude. Okay, let me poke around it. Check it out. Oh, wait, all right, let's see this. Oh, there can only be one. Barney versus Barney. That's <laughs> actually fire. Isn't that amazing? I love that. All right, so Dusty held these for us. So let's kind of see what, what we got over here, Ricky. Ooh. So oh. this is definitely dope. Oh, expansion pack. There we go. Is it? And this is. This. Oh, here we go. That's already. What is that? Dude, look at this. I think it's for the Famicom. It's like a. What? Oh. It's a friggin' portable? Dude, what? There's no way. It looks just like the Famicom. Wait, is that like official quality? I, I literally don't know. I don't think it's official. Okay, so, and there's a GameCube, but I think it's Japanese. But let's poke in here. Okay, so we got some Zelda in here. Oh, yeah. Super Mario USA. I love this, by the way. Oh. Oh yeah, Star Soldier. Star Soldier. And these are not as valuable, just so you guys know, uh, typically as much as, um, like if you found R-Type on the Super Nintendo, yeah. or you know Final Fantasy on the Super Nintendo, it would be worth so much more, Check. but this is Famicom. Check this out. I know, bro, there's another one right here. Look at this. This one's blue. Super fa Blue, and this one is, oh, this is for the, oh, That's dude. Cool. That is sick. <laughs> I'm jealous. Okay, I don't know. He told us just to kind of throw him an offer, to be honest. Okay, so we have a couple American games. Let's see if they're even in here, though. So, I mean, it's nothing crazy. Oh, Adventure's a good game, actually. Mario Kart 64. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, here we go. What is it? Let's see. Here we go. Ooh, look, look, at the, look at the color on this oh, one. Oh, Japanese has some great color. Very beautiful. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, and then some more Atari games. So it's it's nothing that's going to make you go hootie hoozy, but still good stuff. Oh, there you go. Majora's. There you go. All right, so moral of the story on this one is Ricky and I actually paid up pretty close to what this is worth. There's only a few items that we want to keep in here, but we strictly bought it. And we made this very clear with Dusty. We're like, hey, we're buying this to hold our relationship. We tell you guys all the time the relationship is 100% crucial. He held all this for us. 100% crucial when at the swap meet, flea market, anything. So we were like, hey, dude, we'll pay up for this, like literally like 90% of its yeah. worth so that we can keep what we want, flip the rest, but most importantly, hold that relationship. And I'd say yeah. the biggest surprise in this thing, Ricky, was the Super Famicom X-Band. That's the Genesis one. But that thing is worth a decent amount of money and we didn't know. That's not one that I need to keep, to be honest. No, I don't right, JoJo? Right. Ricky just whips out the old pair of DCs. I think I had those and probably clocked up like 2000 kickflips feel the fat tongue bro that is so cool. that is memories i feel i think that's coming back a little bit too i think so i think i heard i, I, I went miss it. i went to like a shoe sale like a big outlet yeah and that was like the number one type of shoe is all fat tongue shoes oh and there's uh there's some vhs in here but uh i gotta dig but i'll dig off camera again but yeah hooray for school oh i got blade on vhs earlier Ricky just went in fast over here. I saw another VHS pile. While you're looking at that, I think there's a couple pops. Yeah, I don't know if it's anything that I would hear about in the pop world. Nah, mostly Marvel. And I'm, I'm already not a pop guy, but I'm definitely not a Marvel guy, so pass. Ricky, if you don't pay her on time, you will owe her money. <laughs> 
That might be the creepiest way to sleep of all time. Gary Busey just like, hello. Jeez, dude. Where do you look? Oh, that's the one, isn't it? It's not Maybe. often that you find the pre-Jeff Goldblum fly lying around. Super cool. Never see this one. Mighty Joe Young right there as well. And then you got the Ernest Specials over here. <laughs> Which one's better, Ricky? Jail or camp? We just watched that when we were Rick. That's why I'm going to say jail. It has like some of the dumbest, funniest scenes. Oh, no. Hey, bro, we don't associate with people who buy bootleg fake hats. I'm just kidding. That thing's sick, bro. I don't associate with Oh, yeah, yeah, Hey, you know what brand, you know what brand these are? They're Levi's. They're freaking Levi's. Yeah, look. So 90s, though. So we're over here looking at the uh, the little displays that Curtis bought earlier. This is how you bought your games back then. You'd pick up a number that was under these. But look, like Strider 2, X-Men. What you got, Ricky? Oh, another Children of the Atom. Oh, cool spot. I love spot. Yeah, it's awesome. Dude, thanks, man, for the gift. Although we're all wearing good outfits today, but I think Maverick wins the day. <laughs> All right, guys, the mission, everyone pick out a VHS tape that would be a great channel name if we started a different channel together. I already got mine, so I'm not going to show you guys. All right, let's hear it. Ben. Grumpy Old Men. Wow, that's actually a good one. Grumpy Old Men. That's only when Chris joins. What do you nice. got? Ooh, nice. Having, I like that. What you got? Hustle and Heat. Hustle? Oh, I better said Hustle oh. the Heat. All right, Ricky, what you got? The Rescuers. Oh, that's not that. I actually know a channel called The Rescue, uh, The Retro Rescue. Mine is The Glory Boys, baby. Nice. I love that. Hustle on Heat might be the best. I'm the winner. This is us when we get a good deal. <laughs> we got a good deal. Go, 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 go. Hey, what's up, dog? Oh, not you. What's up, dog? <laughs> All right, big box PC stuff. Kind of cool. fun to look at. Wow, that's cool. Yo, what? Show that to Ricky. Ricky's gonna like that. Look at that. Oh, that's dope. Sick. And then I found this. Terra on PC collector's edition. Wow, and it's sealed. I'm gonna ask how much on this guy right here, and then I'll look it up after I buy it. But oh wow, anybody into this kind of stuff? 2016 Emmy sealed? I don't know. Really great. And then Ricky, what'd you find? Uh. Zapdos Pokemon hat. Wow. And the vintage That's, bears. Those are called painter's hats. And Dude, I, this is pretty dope. Uh, painter's hats are nice. awesome. Ricky, Ricky, nice call. Good call. Ricky just kind of saw this sitting in the back of a truck. What is this one? Oh, yeah, the Atari Disc Load Runner. Such a cool cover, Broderbund. Broderbund makes um, I'm, I'm, I'm one of my favorite NES games. Oh, my God, Ricky, I can't remember what game Broderbund they make. Legacy, Wizard, Lake, Legacy of Wizard. There it is. That scared me. Real time quarterback. Nintendo Switch, Doc. Doc. Check how much on that. A couple chargers. Oh, there you go. You got the cord for it, Ricky. Your switch controller. Your yep. cord. Cord controller. Um, you need a DS. DS adapter. And then look at this beanie I brought right here. Who wants a beanie? Who wants to go rob a bank as a ninja turtle? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we were here this morning, and this is where Ricky got his VHS tapes earlier, including, you know what he got? What? Double Dragon. All right, here, looking through some shirts. Well, I found this one, it's really cool. Don't mess with the mage. This is from Final Fantasy, the Black Mage. Yeah, super sick. And then also there was a Rocky Horror t-shirt. I'm gonna pick that up. And then I was just kind of diving through what's over here. I don't know if I'm gonna find anything else, but Eddie Munson. All right, I'm gonna pick that up. That's actually really cool. <laughs> Eddie Munson was the G in uh, Stranger Things. He quickly became one of the most beloved characters of the Hellfire Club and on the show, and then they killed him off. You know Stranger Things, though, in the world now. I feel like nobody's dead anymore in TV because it's always like, don't worry, there's time travel now. So I'm sure we'll see him again. Wait a sec. You told me you left. Wow. Oh, with your girlfriend? Oh, okay. Love you. Oh, so, so we'll keep it a little more PG. <laughs> I think... I've seen these before. Where have I seen these guys before? I mean, they're 90s, right? I I, I don't, not. they're Jim Henson. Okay, maybe that's where I know them from. Hey, did you guys remember the Barbie DLC where you get to play with Spyro? Right, here's the test. How much of this will come up just with one grab? All of it, the whole thing. Wow. The whole entire thing is all tangled. Let's see, let's see their grip. Chris. Oh boy. Almost hit that guy right in the head. <laughs> Don't, I only have one hand. Don't throw it to me. So you're looking at this Dragon Ball stuff and then Ricky found an Xbox controller, but it has the other uh, keypad that goes with it. 
I remember I used to really want one of those because we'd always play. So here's a fun fact. The most, besides us playing like NES and stuff like that, I'd say modern-ish console. By far, the one we played the most together was online Xbox 360. Yep. Modern Warfare 1 and 2, 1, 2, 3. All through the night. For sure at that time, Curtis was one of those little kids like, hey man, your mom, your mom sucks. And I go. <laughs> it is time to go eat at Chronic Taco every week, but I need to call Chris from Retro Games Plus. Chris, you have a phone I can borrow to call him to let him know it's time to go eat. Cell phone, cell phone. Here you go. 1800 rip off. That's Chris's number. Chris, we're going to Chronic Taco with who? Yeah, I forgot about this. Maverick, will you say for my son? For my son. Yeah!